country, just make it clear that we want the 2020 election decided by voters and not by foreign hackers. So, I'm really thrilled to be able to introduce my partner in all of this effort. Senator Merkley was there long, long before election reform was cool. Big shout out to Senator Merkley. One simple idea, and that is that if the entire nation did what Oregon did, we would have a much better security for our national elections. Let's make it happen. Yay! Yay. So how do we look nationally right now in terms of the credibility of our election institutions and the process? And the answer is not good. We have a Supreme Court that gutted the Voting Rights Act. We have a Supreme Court that shredded Jefferson's concept of distributed power among the voters by enacting or 5-4 vote on the, on the case Citizens United, allowing unlimited massive third party sums in campaigns. We have a Supreme Court that just two weeks ago gave the green light to extreme partisan gerrymandering. I thought the Supreme Court was supposed to defend the Constitution, not destroy the vision of the Constitution. How about we get a Supreme Court that actually would defend the Constitution? Yeah. <laughs> but we don't get to vote on the justices here as a, as a public in the country. Uh, the legislature, we can try to pass a constitutional amendment, but that's difficult. So what tool do we have at hand? And what we have is the For the People Act. And the For the People Act in the Senate, Senator Tom Udall and I are the, the leads on it. Every single Democrat has endorsed it. And uh, even better, the House labeled it HR1. And a huge applause to the House of Representatives for passing it. What does it do? It takes on gerrymandering by establishing independent commissions across the country. It takes on dark money by shining a light on every aspect of money in politics. And it takes on the issue of voter intimidation. I think if you believe in the vision of a democratic republic, you believe in voter empowerment, not voter intimidation or suppression. So let's restore voter empowerment. <laughs> what Oregon already does and making it required nationally in that area. Guaranteeing at least two weeks of early voting in every single state on the elections. <coughs> Very big positive. Uh, proceeding to uh, make sure uh, that everyone can vote by mail in the country. So it's that <laughs> Senator Wyden has championed and led the vote by mail bill in the U.S. Senate, and so that is definitely a part of this, but thank you to you for your leadership that we have for many, many years. A big piece of election security, uh, and by that I mean going in and doing what we're planning to do here in Oregon and making sure that the hacking does not occur, that the, the um, uh, counting uh, is accurate, and how about making sure that there are paper recountable ballots in every part of the country for these elections. Automatic voter registration pioneered here in Oregon. Let's make it happen. Yay! Thank you to the governor and her team for really spearheading this when she was Secretary of State. Felony voting rights. You've served your time. We restore the key role in a democracy of being able to vote. So Powerful Voting Rights Act to replace the one that the Supreme Court destroyed. Yay. For all of this, including taking on the gerrymandering of the dark money, it's important that in January 2021, when the Senate has, 20, has 51 individuals, senators who believe in the vision of our Constitution, that we follow the House and make it the first bill we pass in the U.S. Senate. Yes. Yay. Yay. Oregon and going, wow, you did that. 
oh, you did that, oh, we need that, oh, we're in trouble here. Let's keep setting the standard for the nation, and we set another standard by putting a stamp on these envelopes. So let's put the stamp of approval, as Wyden put it, and send it out to the nation and adopt the For the People Act. We are so privileged to have you with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is so great to be here in Oregon. Uh, thank you to, yes, it is, it is, truly. But thank you to the bus project and all of the stakeholders who had so much uh, to do with getting these, this bill passed. Um, I have the honor and privilege of serving in the U.S. House with Congressman and civil rights leader John Lewis. And he said, the vote is precious. It is the most powerful nonviolent tool we have in a democratic society, and we must use it. Oregon leads the country in voting access. Now with this paid postage and campaign finance reform, we have even more that we can be proud of. Oregonians can be confident in our elections. That's not true everywhere across the country. Across the country, we, we have seen threats to voting rights, and that threatens our democracy. There's been a rollback of important protections under the Voting Rights Act, and there has been voter suppression and intimidation. But earlier this year, the U.S. House passed, as Senator Merkley was talking about, H.R. 1, the For the People Act. I was proud to co sponsor. <laughs> and help get this vote through uh, the U.S. House. It includes <coughs> many of the provisions that Oregon has already implemented thanks to the leadership of <coughs> so many who are here today. Importantly, automatic voter registration, online registration, vote by mail, now with a stamp, and importantly, requiring paper ballots. There are still some states that only have electronic voting machines with no paper trail. So H.R. 1, the For the People Act, will counter this trend across the country of restricting access to the ballot. For a democracy that truly is of, by, and for the people, we must make our elections fair and free, and we must make sure that every single citizen can vote, every single one. And as we continue... <laughs> in Congress, with the House, working with the Senate, uh, we are inspired by the successes here in Oregon and the leadership of our Oregon uh, friends and uh, representatives and senators in Salem. So please join me in thanking Governor Brown for her steadfast leadership, starting back when you were in the State Senate and Secretary of State, and now as our governor for protecting our elections and defending democracy. Please welcome our fabulous governor, Governor Kate. <laughs> Thank you to the Bus Project for hosting us here today. Yay. And as well for your steadfast leadership and advocacy uh, for paid postage, campaign finance reform. And I'm very excited to hear about the new name this evening, but I mean, I think that's going to mean I'm going to have to stay up later than my normal bedtime. So I won't be there tonight. So, but I am so proud to have all of you as a partner. I also want to take a moment to thank uh, former Secretary of State Dennis Richardson uh, and his team member Steve Elzinga, who's here today. Uh, paid postage is certainly a critical and necessary reform uh, that brought Republicans and Democrats together. Um, I'm very excited to have this historic signing today. Um, but at the same time, want to be recognizing the great work that Secretary Richardson did to pave the way forward on paid postage. Thank you. <laughs> there are many things that I love about Oregon, is, but one of them is that in Oregon, we believe that your vote is your voice and that every single voice matters. And when the concept of vote by mail came forward, the vision behind vote by mail is that we would put a ballot 
in the hands of every single eligible Oregonian. And uh, with the signing of the pay postage legislation, which some of us have been working on for over 10 years, I believe that we are moving Oregon in the right direction. And I think we will continue to uh, be a leader and a champion for the rest of the states. And I'm hoping that we can continue to make forward progress to make sure that every single eligible Oregonian has an opportunity to have their voice be heard. So that is very exciting. outset of the year I laid out my uh, defending do democracy agenda and campaign finance reform uh, was at the pillar of this agenda and unless we take action uh, spending in Oregon campaigns will continue to rise and of course we're going to see more and more power in the hands of a wealthy few and that from my perspective is absolutely unacceptable so today we are moving forward on two bills uh, that will have meaningful impact on campaign finance in Oregon. And um, obviously, while my signature, signature isn't required for the referral, I'm certainly very excited to vote for it next fall. I, yes. <laughs> Politics makes strange bedfellows. Uh, I want to say thank you in particular to Patrick Starnes for his leadership. Thank you. <laughs> Rayfield, I don't know how you did it, uh, uh, being a budget tri-chair and uh, working on good public policy, but we're glad you did. Uh, these are issues, uh, at least in terms of the campaign finance reform, that I've been working on for over 20 years, and so I am so proud of our legislature and, of course, all of the partners that are here today. Uh, to enable us to take one big giant leap forward in terms of campaign finance reform. Yay! I, I also want to say thank you to our uh, congressional delegation, uh, Senator Merkley, Senator Wyden, and Congresswoman Bonamici. Uh, I really appreciate them being here today. Um, I, I think that uh, the rest of the nation, particularly in Washington, D.C., could learn a few things from our senators and our congresswomen, and frankly, from the Oregon way. And I'm certainly proud to lend my support to the efforts at the national level, and I wanna thank our delegation for being such strong champions of uh, voter access and protecting our democracy. Uh, and finally, as Secretary of State, former Secretary of State, I have two more thank yous. Um, we, uh, as former secretaries of state, are only as successful as our county clerks. And I want to say uh, thank you to Tim Scott, and I don't know if Bill Burgess is here. Bill here. No. Thank you, Tim Scott. Thank you, Bill Burgess. And thank you. Um, all right, let's sign the bill. So you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Get around if you want to be in the photo. Now's your time. <laughs> Postage, Senate Bill 861. Here we go. All right, the next one is 2716. So if you want to hide or you want to come out on this one, then <laughs> relating to campaign finance. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. And the next one is 2983, uh, Shining a Light. Yeah. Okay. Woohoo! All right, 2983. Hello, Jason. Nice to be yeah, here. Yeah, Jason. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you so many. Oh, your phone is good, Tony. <laughs> good, Tony. All right. All right. Thank you. Woo!